can't believe it's the morning of day 10. It feels so wild that we've been out here for 10 days. Day-to-day -day life on a long ocean crossing is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. Some days, the most exciting moment could be taking that shower you're long overdue for, or spotting a bird and remembering that you're in fact not the last five living souls on planet Earth. But as we approach the halfway point of our 3,000 nautical mile trip across the Pacific Ocean, old King Neptune blessed us with quite an eventful afternoon. Whoa, it's something big. Holy oh, shit! Oh my god! Oh my god. Don't god. follow it! Get him up! Oh. 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 oh my god, I'm sliding! Give it up. Holy crap! I know, right? But I digress. We'll get to our Wahoo Madness in just a bit. It's been such a good passage so far. I feel like it's gone better than what I kind of expected, especially with Sierra, which has been amazing. She's been so good and like, a few things have been a struggle, you know, like she does her best and <laughs> like, I bring out a few new toys and we kind of run around with her and she runs around and plays a lot by herself, which is amazing. And yeah, it's just been a lot of fun. Yep. Day 10. Life is good out here. Alright, so we got breakfast going on. Yummy yummy. But well, we've been having a uh, discussion for the last four minutes about bilge butter. We... <laughs> we I didn't know canned butter existed. <laughs> bilge butter! Creamy butter. Oh my god! Nice. And it's pure too. Okay, perfect. <laughs> pure creamy bilge butter. All right, turn up. Check. <laughs> A little downwind breakfast. Mm, How great. is it? That's good. Great. Nice. Good. How are the conditions out here? We'll prove them. Sevens. Sevens. Sevens and 15 knots of breeze. Loving it. We'll take that all day. Time to sort some trash out. I'm just gonna go through, see if there's anything that can be ejected, uh -huh. condense the rest. I think it's pretty amazing with the trash, how like in 10 days, uh, we've only have one full bag of trash. And that's only really like washed plastic. Whenever we kind of have plastic meat on it, sauce or anything, like we make sure that we wash it really good so it doesn't smell. All organics go overboard, you know, compost back in the ocean. If we have glass that is clean or if we have metal like cans and stuff that doesn't have any kind of plastic on it, we sink those in yeah, deep water like this. Um, and I mean, the cans will rust and become metal uh, and the glass the same will break up and become like ocean glass i don't know what you call it <laughs> when we do have this like this bag that we just filled up we have some space in the fuel locker that we keep it out of the sun and stuff so it doesn't like fly away or lose it anywhere it is interesting how to like prepare for a passage like this though because when we get the groceries we like unpack basically like everything. Cause like even in the stores, it's really hard to find like berries and fruit and stuff that isn't already have a lot of like hard plastic and stuff in it. So we take all of that away and dispose of it uh, in port before we leave. We continued along making good speed in pleasant but rolly downwind conditions. The swell had really started to build over the last 24 hours, which made what was about to happen a whole lot trickier. Someone take. Oh, is it a skip jump? No, it's a tuna. Oh, it's a tuna. Well, a skipjack is a type of tuna, so technically I wasn't completely wrong. But let's be real, I was wrong. It was, in fact, a skipjack, which is one of our least favorite fish to eat. The meat is dark and fishy tasting. But by the time we realized we had misidentified it, it was already too late. 
We certainly weren't going to waste it, so we decided to dress it up a bit by making some breaded fish tacos for lunch, which ended up being surprisingly delicious. Oh my god. <gasps> wow, this looks so good. Oh my gosh. Mm. Do you want hot sauce? No, that's sriracha? okay. I'll just do it like this for right now. Pure. Mm, pure. Just the okay, flavors. Oh, God. <laughs> I was like, oh shit! <laughs> it's really good. This is masterpiece. Brian. Brian. Oh, wow. Awesome. Breaded like that? It's awesome. Right? Mm. I mean, I would have probably used it in like sashimi, but like this is great. Yeah. Mm. Thank you, fish. <laughs> wild out there. You can really feel the power of the wind and like the waves up the wood. It's crazy sitting up there on the bow. We're rolling quite a bit. Yeah, we nice. are. The constant rocking of the boat combined with the pleasant sleepiness from a belly full of tacos was almost enough to send the crew into siesta mode. But our slumbery spell was broken by a sound that could immediately make any sailor spring to life. It's a big fella of some kind. Wow, it's really big, isn't it? That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't expecting that. <laughs> oh, you guys are so clever. We're so predictable, are we? <laughs> Brian's putting the strap on now. Whoa, that's what she said. <laughs> oh, what? Close the window. Close the window. Oh, baby. Man, hold on to your Do wrenches. Doing like eight knots, too. Jeez. Is it a big fish? Yeah. What do you have against us? What do you think it is? I, I just hope it's a mahi. That's all. Yeah. Mahi. <laughs> it's based on nothing. That's just what I want. That would be amazing. Water would be pretty good. Okay, too. fine. Okay. Fine. fine. What do you think, guys? I don't know. Can you see it? Oh, 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 oh. Is it a mahi? A mahi would do that. Really? Yeah, a mahi would be jumping on it. I want a tuna. Tuna. Do you think it is a tuna? Yeah. But no, wee, wee, wee. It looks more like a wahoo. Oh. It does look like a wahoo. It's a wahoo, but that's amazing. It's a big fish, Brian. Right? It's freaking wild. We're going so fast. That is such a big ass fish. Ah, come on, arms. Don't fail me now. We caught description a long slender body vivid zebra like stripes exactly what we have most catches around 20 to 50 pounds food value the fresh is rather dry but it's white and mild excellent smoke high five nuts nuts can you say it to you oh wahoo wahoo Sierra, are you learning about fish? Yeah. 
She's just spitting out fish names like <laughs> tuna, wahoo, <laughs> mahi, all the good ones. I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> you guys are just bathing in <laughs> fish juice over here. <laughs> That sounds when the, when the wave rolls, like, oh, she's laying in it now. There's no need for that, Hana. <laughs> Look at that. That is a beautiful fillet. Look uh -huh. at that. Oh my god, I'm sliding. Give it up. <laughs> 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 it's really right, let's slippery. Get a, let's get a bucket of water. Let's do it. Let's do an inter. Yeah, uh, yeah. intermission. All right, look at that. Check that is out. a thick piece of meat right there. Yeah. Yeah, no, you hands. didn't. No, we didn't. Did we get another fish? Oh, shit, shit. we did. Gosh, Oh, no. no. We don't need more fish. No more fish. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it. Oh, it's boy. Been, of, uh, it's been 10 just, days, and we only caught one is. fish, and now yeah. we're catching yeah, three in one day. Let me see that right, club. I think it's a small mahi. Small mahi. Oh. Yeah, you're right, mate. <laughs> Shake it off. Swim, swim, Shake it swim. Off. After filleting the back half of the wahoo, we wanted to cut some nice, thick steaks with the front half. That's how the old ancient Polynesians used to do it. Yeah, with their hacksaw. <laughs> yeah, their hacksaw. Look at Ooh, that. Look at steak. that. Steak. Wow. Yeah, all right. Do that so a bunch of times before that. it gets dark. <laughs> <laughs> While Hannah and Connor raced against daylight to finish prepping the wahoo, Kaz and I went to investigate a strange sound we've been hearing on the forward deck. It turns out that the forward four-guy block on the downwind pole had ceased, and we needed to replace it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this, I'm going to wrap it around that line using the same knot that we use as a safety line when we go up the mast. And then we're going to put tension on that to keep tension on the forward part of the pole. Then we can take off the four-guy and then we can replace this block. What's going on? This is so much work. <laughs> this will be worth it one day, but God, look at this. This is literally, this is 15 kilos of fish. I mean, you can't even believe oh my how God. much meat there is here. Oh, nugget, oh, here. <gasps> Okay, did you take a look at the old block? It's completely locked. Completely seized, huh? And also shifted. It's starting to come yeah. off. Good thing we changed that. What a cheap block. And it's harken too. Yeah. Like, shouldn't that be a good block? Should be a good block. We just put this on, like, in the U.S., right? Yeah, that's scary. Oh crap. I know, right? Yeah. Oh, my God. <gasps> oh, my God. Like, Jeez. Guess we're having Wahoo steaks for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. That is so much meat. So, since we have an obscene amount of <laughs> Wahoo now. <laughs> We're gonna try to vacuum pack because it lasts a lot longer if you do. We're gonna walk. <laughs> yeah, what are you gonna do with it? I don't know. We're just gonna cook a bunch of these beautiful steaks oh up. God. I think I'm just gonna do them barely in it, just maybe a little bit of salt, pepper, oil, maybe a little bit of garlic powder, and then we'll have it. <laughs> Good idea, Brian. <laughs> Peanut gallery right here. Two are ready. Can you believe this? I don't. I can't believe this. Unbelievable. Risotto, broccoli, cucumber, and... I mean, it's... it's, it's I don't even have words. I don't even have words. <laughs> Two hours later. Oh. So fresh. 
<laughs> so good, I love Moth so much. Oh, I can't believe it. making really good speed today. Swell has gotten bigger. We caught a massive wahoo and somehow managed to fit it all in the fridges and freezer. Fish for weeks, the freezer is packed. Yeah, we made a lot of progress today. A lot. Going fast because the whole day. yeah, the whole day it's been between six and a half to like eight, eight and a half knots, which is crazy. Wow. And we haven't done any sail changes for the past I think two, two, two full days. Oh God, Good day. We're almost like at 1,400 nautical miles too, which means that we're almost halfway. Almost halfway. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> it's so exciting. <laughs> it was a good day. I know, it was a really good day. And so our 10th day sailing across the Pacific Ocean was nearing its end. Days like these are about as good as it gets out here, but we still had one more little treat waiting for us as the clouds began to part in the dark night sky. Yes. I've got really good news. Oh my God, what? Really? Right here. Okay. These four stars are just off the tip of the pole, yeah. right above it. That's the first time you saw the Southern Cross. Oh, you're, oh, you're right. <laughs> That's awesome. And it's so clear too. Yeah. Pretty cool, huh? yeah. I might try and get the other camera to see if it'll show up. Wait, I got it. Yeah. Come out from behind. Come out from behind the cloud. Come on, come on, do it, do it, do it. Up next on Delos, it's Squall City as we approach the doldrums, and things get a little uncomfortable. Whoa! Ah! We're beating into it today. It's not ideal. Maybe saliva. I was, I was getting a little excited there. <laughs> Men fish. <laughs> so, yep. That's it. Okay. Impossible. So we have to bring this message to my brother lyrical Straight from the crew, out to the blue 